Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Egidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene. I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forley. I leave to be with my children, and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Vittoria agli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini. What do you want? You spoke of a senator at the meeting. Find him on the Campidoglio. You do not need me. Once I kill the banker, your girls must take his money back to the underground. Fine. Stay alert. That senator.
Mirabul. No more arguing. The bill has come true. Make an exception for an old man. No. Bank has sent us to collect. I will have his money momentarily. Not good. Samaritan in Rome. I thought they were a dying tree. Santo Regidio Trope. I don't owe you money too, do I? I'm looking for Cesare's bank. Ha! Cesare Borgia. And you are? Friend of the family. Cesare has a lot of friends these days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I got mad. Ma che meraviglia! He fights guards and he gives away money. Where have you been all my life? Better get out of here. I know a place. All right, this way. Hold. Andiamo. Hang on. Someone really wants you dead. A few months ago, my brother Francesco. He told me of Cesare's plans for Romagna. I wrote to the ambassador of Venezia, warning him. We escaping to Must have been intercepted. The Senate has nothing to do these days. The Borgia fixed. And Horry. Good, good. It was the perfume on my skin? Something. You don't have <laughs> Senators used to petition about real issues like unlawful cruelty, abandoned children. Now we write up legislation on the appropriate width of women's sleeves. No, it is not safe here. You raise money. Must keep more causes to. False causes. I am interested in ever look at the grave and think this is the most significant thing I will ever do? What on earth? 
He must be late. And she must be beautiful. Dogs have met their day. Right. Through their shame and great dismay. He'll come to your day. Oh, you have a way. Let me go. Help! Mercy, mercy, I've done that. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop here. Too many guards. Come, good folk. See the I should never have sent them to the ambassador. Now Cesare will murder me. Benvenuto to the home of my brother Francesco. Thank God he's not here. We haven't talked since he found out about the letters. What did you want again? Cesare's banker. Right. I need to arrive with the money. Problem is, there is no money. You are meeting the banker. Where? I never know until I'm there. I go to one of three places. 
Then his friends take me to him. I will bring you all the money you owe. Sul serio? You need to stop this. You might actually give me hope. 